Hello, my lovely, lovely Leos. How are you guys? It's Earth Divine 360 Tarot, and I'm here with my oracle reading from the Divine Mother Father God for my lovely Leos. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, let me know how this resonated. How did this video help you? My channel is for spiritual development. I'm here to help people ascend spiritually um always bringing people closer to god that is my mission um before you knock it you should listen you know for those people who don't necessarily believe but this video is for those who need it so i'm not stressing it once again earth divine 360 tarot this reading is for my lovely leos my moon sun rising and venus leos i am a moon leo so let's see what the videos got for me now i already pulled some cards just so my videos aren't too long did you like my video and did you subscribe yet yes you make sure you like and subscribe thank you let's get into your reading now for some of my leos you're feeling weak okay you're, you're feeling weak about something here i see that some of you are thinking about having children some of you leos are pregnant some of you are really happy i see someone like just really content like eating a lot of food just like really happy my leos are happy for some of you you may be engaged or thinking about becoming engaged thinking about becoming married okay relationships is heavy on your mind this month or whenever you find this reading leo there could be things that you are doubting okay someone is impatient with something and there is something you need to forgive i'm picking up that there's forgiveness that needs to happen within how you grew up okay from your parents there is some type of healing that needs to happen leo with your parents because it is causing some kind of insecurity when it comes to your relationship leo okay either you or your partner is feeling this if not both okay there's a conflict um and this could cause you to bump heads i see that the 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 fights with some of you leo have subsided because you guys are trying to look at the brighter side of your relationship here um because you really enjoy this person this is somebody that you enjoy okay you're here with the king of wands leo that is definitely that fire energy okay you're just you're you're not sitting back okay you're taking charge with this relationship but there is something that is a conflict either with someone else if not the person that you're with you're having some type of conflict and this could be inner conflict leo something that you're going through inner or a conflict with someone else but there is some type of forgiveness that needs to happen because without this forgiveness it makes it very difficult to have a successful relationship and where I, I see you guys like very happy with somebody you are happy with this person Leo. okay you are happy with them so we really need to forgive and work on whatever it is that is hindering us or putting thoughts of doubt in our mind when it comes to this relationship oh boy Happy Mother's Day to all the new mothers and mothers. Yeah. Okay, so there has to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay, you need to talk about your insecurities, Leo. You need to put them flat out on the table and you need to be an adult and you need to sit there and you need to talk about the things that you feel like are hurting you the things that you're holding on to the things that cause doubt in your relationship the things that make you feel weak and the things that don't make you feel so strong leo because this is i'm feeling like this it's all about a loving type of energy with you all that is what i'm feeling there's a lot of passion between you and your partner if you don't see the passion now it's soon to come you need to learn how to flirt a little bit with whoever you're with keep the flirtation happening keep that rotation that you know that give and take that ebb and flow you need to have that going in your relationship okay because this there's a lot of happiness 
here a lot of comfort that's the word i was looking for that you're very comfortable with this person you feel like you've known this person forever for some of you maybe you have known this person from a childhood excuse me from your childhood or like your parents or friends or like a family friend or your families are very closely woven together you know you guys known each other for a long time for some of you leos but for some of you this is like a soulmate feeling this is somebody ah i feel like i've known this person i feel such an ease and such a comfort with this person okay which is a really good feeling but i still have like these insecurities and these doubts what if this person isn't for me what if this person is cheating on me what if what if what da, 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 da. You need to sit down, Leo, and you need to talk to this person. You need to be real. and You need to tell them, hey, babe, this is how I feel. This is what I feel. I, I'm doubting this. Or for some of you, you want to be married with this person and you're becoming impatient. You need to say, hey, I'm feeling impatient. Also, what I was hearing from the spirit is maturity. Okay. Some of you Leos are maturing, becoming that woman becoming that man that you were supposed to be you're maturing so what do mature people do they get married for some of you you may be afraid to take that step you have doubts about getting married and this all has to do with however you grew up whatever you saw growing up maybe you saw two parents who did not get married maybe your parents they got married and all shit went fell fell to hell when that happened and so maybe you have a fear Okay, but a lot of the tussle and the arguments comes from this lack of commitment that you Leos may be having with your partner. And I just want to say if you love this person and this person makes you happy, like for some of you, like this is like the happiest you have been with this person. And people see like, wow, you're happy. Oh my God, you gain weight. You're gaining weight. Ah, la, la. They're saying all this stuff to you. For some of you, you know, you might be pregnant and just looking like real chunky and always eating. And it's like, oh my God, but Leo, you are so happy. You are so happy, but you cannot allow these fears and these doubts to take over in your relationship because for some of you, you are really just happy. Okay? With a lot of, just a lot of good sex, a lot of flirtation, flirt, flirting, being flirtatious, okay? What more do we have for lovely weeks? Great mother. For some of you dealing with another Leo, for some of you, you're dealing with a Taurus. For some of you, are dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini, okay? Now, Leo, there's only one decision that you can make you are conflicted by this you don't know what you're going to do some of you need to make a decision and for some of you this has to do with being married for some of you leo it's like you don't believe in marriage you don't see like the big deal you're not un or it, you or the other person is not seeing the big deal with being committed you're fine like hey what's wrong with how we are right now like we're good we're good. Like, why do we have to take this next step? Okay. But it's either like you take this next step or you don't. But you're not sure what you want to do, Leo. You're unsure. Ooh, Some of you are dealing with a Cancer or Capricorn. Aquarius energy is definitely here also. Okay, so for some of you Leos, you're feeling like you don't want to feel bound to someone. You don't want to feel like, like I'm hearing like married and just bored and like this is it. And you know, it's a fear that everything is going to change. It's a fear that you're tied down. Some of you Leos don't want to be tied down to a person and it's, you have fear because of that. For some of you, it could be a toxicity in the relationship. Like this is a toxic relationship for some of you. For some of you, you need help having a conversation about how you truly feel with this person. For some of you, you're losing sleep over this. Yep. Okay. It is driving you crazy. For some of you, like, either you or the other person could either be, like, depressed that there's no further commitment or this person isn't committed to me. 
But there needs to be a conversation that's had. This is a, a conversation, a respectful conversation, like a back and forth kind of conversation. You need help getting there. Either you need your friends to like give you guys a nudge, give you guys a push, like to have this conversation about what the two of you really want. Because for some of you, this is driving you crazy. For one person, it's just like they're losing their mind over this. Like they cannot function if they do not understand the status of your relationship, the status of whether we're moving forward or we're not with marriage. This is about marriage, okay? You need help getting to have that conversation. Um, for some of you dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone has been very patient in this situation, Leo. Someone has just been like, is is just a real patient person, could be a real, just really patient. You know, they go to work, they work hard, they're very patient. It's almost like they're just waiting for you, they're waiting on you. Not for Leo. This person, their situation here. Some of you need to forgive, like I said, and learn from the things that you saw. Some of you are very just like romantic, a lot of romance with this person you're with. Like you can't keep your hands off of each other. Like it's just great. Um, a lot of you are learning to make the effort to make your relationship work, okay? Taking the steps. Relationships are not easy, but taking the little steps that you need to take. For some of you, you're calling in your soulmate, okay? Keep the vis visualizations, excuse me. Keep the visualizations, keep the affirmations going, okay? To bring you together with your soulmate. And see, that's the heart-to-heart -heart conversation that you need to have with this person for some of you Leos. Is this my soulmate or not? Are you my soulmate? Are we supposed to be together? Are we supposed to take the next step together? What is this thing we're doing? Why are we so afraid of commitment? Either it is or it isn't. Okay. One more. Love with Leo. For some of you Leos, you are pregnant, okay? You are pregnant, Leo. If you're not pregnant, you just had a baby getting ready to deliver. You guys are pregnant. Um, if you are not looking to become pregnant at this time, you know, take the proper precautions, proper measures. Um, if you're not, if you're not physically pregnant or thinking about having a physical child, this could just be a new business, okay? This could be you manifesting things and the birth of the things that you put your hard work into, okay? This could be you putting your, your, your blood, sweat, and tears into something, and now it's birthing. Um, something coming off the ground. Something that you've been trying to manifest for a long time, and it is now you see it. You see what you've been putting your hard work into, okay? Because you have, uh, for some of you, you're getting married. Okay, that's one. For some of you, you will be like in a business partner with someone else. You guys are birthing a new business, a new business venture. Okay, it it's here now, or you guys are are creating it. This this is two people, maybe more than two people, but this is like two people coming together to make an alliance with each other to have something. Okay, a way to have revenue and income. All right, um, this is fulfillment of wishes. So whatever you've been thinking, um, for those of you who like, man, I want a baby so bad. I just want to have a baby. Well, now is the time. Leo, you, you will have that. Or for those of you like, man, I want to start my own business. I'm just so tired of just like the right, like I'm not a, re I'm not regular. I'm a Leo. No, I'm not regular. Like, what am I doing this regular ish for? I'm not regular. Well, now you are not regular and <laughs> you have your own business um you know 
some of you are artists okay some of you two people you could be designing clothes it, it, it could be anything leo but you guys will be making money from this um you guys are surrounded by light number 19 there's a lot of light um people are attracted to you they are attracted to what you're doing some of you are just pregnant and freaking beautiful and just like glowing like an angel from heaven you look just like heavenly you look so happy like i said in the beginning of the reading you guys are so freaking happy people see like man leo just in general you guys look great you look happy for some of you is the fact that <laughs> you haven't had to go in to work you haven't and if you are going to work you don't have to deal with the normal people amount of people that you normally deal with it's like a relief but you look so good you look so light leo you look just so happy and everything that you ever thought of everything you ever wanted leo it's just coming to you coming to you just being blessed 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 god is good okay you guys are being blessed you guys are being blessed with a child leo for some of you you will be having a beautiful child and you it's just you guys this is just like a abundance of happiness i'm so happy for you leos okay that is beautiful i just see a lot of happiness i just see things going your way leo i just see things that i just see things working out for you um areas where you will block leo i see it opening up i see people coming in to help you like i said earlier people are gonna have to help you and your partner have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation about whether or not the two of you want to be married because it's almost like you two are being kind of stubborn or you two are trying to avoid it but it's a conversation that needs to happen because marriage is definitely in the air and definitely in the cards for you um children are definitely in the cards for you um there's a lot of love happening for leos they're feeling very just loving in their nature you know leos are very loving okay for some Leos, like I said, forgiveness. There's a lot of emotional healing that needs to take place. And this could come from things that have happened, happened to you in your life over a course of time. Relationships. Um, it could be childhood. Like I said, how you grew up. The things that you saw growing up. It's time to heal. It's time to let those things go, Leo. Don't. You're so happy right now. You have so much happiness in front of you. Don't let things that have hurt you block this happiness because this is just a beautiful time and god wants you to feel this happiness so why let negative things things that are out of our control affect this moment of bliss okay this is a very happy time for you whatever it is your wish has been granted whatever it is like i said for some of you oh i just want a baby so bad boom there you go okay I'm going to create a business. Boom. There you go. They're going to be looking like when people actually see what you have done, Leo, they're going to be like, how did this person do that? Like, how the heck did they do that? They're not going to like, they're not going to believe that you created this thing that you did. Like, how did you do this? Because it's like almost impossible for someone to do this. How did you pull it off? But it's going to be like, yeah, I did it. I'm a Leo. Like, what the heck did you expect? <laughs> okay. Come on now, Leo. All right. Leo, damn it. You guys are getting married. <laughs> you guys are getting married. Ow. My beautiful, lovely Leos, you guys have a spiritual union which is a soulmate connection, okay? Past life lover, all that stuff, twin flame, booyah, you got it. Um, you guys have harmony. Like I said, don't let anyone come in between us. I don't give a damn who it is. I don't care if it's blood related or not. Do not let people come in between us. Right now, the two of you are kind of like playing the waiting game or you're playing the waiting game with your business. I, For some of you, Leo, you guys have all of this goodness going on which is kudos to you guys you got the marriage you got the baby you got just your business just like i'm doing all of these things and i'm having a baby and it's just like people are probably freaking jealous <laughs> okay they're probably jealous because you just got so you got so much happiness leo god damn it you just have so much happiness like people probably can't even stomach it that's how much happiness you have and that's so horrible that people will feel that way but 
They do. That's just the reality of things. When you have this light that people are attracted to, Leo, you got this light. People want to be around you. They're just like energy vultures, energy vampires, just waiting to steal what you have. And it's like you can't because I'm in harmony with my partner. So booyah, back up. Okay, I'm in harmony with my partner. We love each other. We got our family going on. We got our business going on. We're doing our thing and we're making our money. Please back up. Okay, please back up. And it's almost like you guys were playing the waiting game. Okay, to over you guys had things that you had to triumph over. You had to overcome things. You had to go and get the victory. You guys had to fight for everything you have right now. Whether if it's having a baby, whether it's having a new business, whether if it's having this relationship and taking it to the next step, which is getting married and just being like mature. Uh, I'm feeling like these are two people that grew with each other, that went through a cycle of life with each other. What I mean by cycle of life, you know, you go from your adolescence to an adult, a young adult into adult into like an older adult, okay? And then you go into, you know, your 50s and stuff like that. But 50s and 60s, and then, you know, you start thinking about how am I gonna give back to the earth? How am I gonna give back to the generations behind me? You start thinking about these things. But I feel like, Leo, you and this person have grown through these stages of life. If not all of these stages, majority of these stages you guys have seen each other at different turning points in your life like wow oh look at that per that person has really changed that, that person it, what used to be like this they're not like this now they, they changed i've seen i've seen them in so many different aspects and so many different lights and i still love this person that's the point that i'm getting to i still love this person i still want to be with this person man i think i want to marry this person i think i want to spend the rest of my life with this person i really think that this is my soulmate that is where you are getting to right now leo okay um distraction free is what i'm hearing don't let outside distractions intervene with what you guys have Okay, these are two people that are like this. Okay, this is, I, I can't even explain it. It's like you guys are a force, you guys are one. Excuse me, you're one. Okay, don't let other people get inside of that. They can't because you're one. All right, so enjoy what you guys have accomplished in this relationship and do not let outside forces in, whether it be our parents, whether it be our children, anybody connected to us, they cannot come in. They cannot disrupt this because the two of you together create something for everyone else. So you guys always have to make sure your ebb and flow is on point. Okay. I'm seeing that you guys will have a lot of choices. You have to choose wisely. You have to make the right choices. Okay. Don't make sporadic choices, Leo. Okay. Also, sacral chakra sacral chakra energy start looking into that look into the number two also the number two seven six two again and three and the number 19 sacral energy your sacral chakra i believe this is like dancing okay let's see i always like to be correct i don't like to give Incorrect. Okay. Color is orange. I'm colorblind. I really thought this was yellow, but it's orange. The sound that this chakra makes is vum. 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 You want to practice that sound, Leo? And you want to incorporate that every day to open up your chakras, okay? This is your testicles and your ovaries. And the keywords I want. So for some of you who are thinking about pregnancy, that's ideal for you, okay? This chakra is all about how we express ourselves and our sexual ugh, sexuality, okay? Please look up sacral chakra. I can't spend time reading on that. But guys, please look it up because it will be so beneficial for you and your ascension and your spiritual growth this month or whenever you find this video. Okay, so open yourself up. Express yourself to your partner. Tell them your fears and your wants and your doubts. Okay, it's time to open up. Yeah. 
new moon energy. Every time I pull this card from my clients, I always tell them that they need to get a new moon journal and start journaling and start writing the things that they want, things that they need, things that they want to let go of, okay? Because the moon goes through phases. Um, it says the promise, and it has a couple, two people. So, my Leos, do you promise to be with this person the rest of your life? Is that what you want, Leo? Because for some of you, this is your soulmate. This is the person. This is the person where you guys have spiritual abundance. Oh my God, emotional abundance. It's just physical abundance. I mean, prosperity. You have children together. You guys are like a power couple is what I'm seeing. And you will be envied, obviously, because this is just, this is just the nature of people. Um, this is the promise. The two of you together, Leo. Leo, I'm getting hungry, Leo. <laughs> Leo. The Heron. Patience, create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone, find, ba find balance. <laughs> Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Okay. Horse, freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. See? Horses don't get left behind. They go after what they want. Hummingbird, miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the, the miracle of happiness. Like I said, you guys are so happy. Hummingbird, look up the hummingbird. Start meditating on the hummingbird and on the horse, okay? Freedom and the heron, patience. Have patience with your partner. Some of you, this is a soulmate. Do your meditations, guys. This is Earth Divine 360 Tarot. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Please let me know how it resonated with you and hit that thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Peace.